just last shot, hitting it. I mean, just the thrill of victory. Explain that a little bit. It was a busted play. I mean, and you don't know what's going to happen on a busted play. And, you know, Daquan Smith's one of those guys, he struggles, you know, especially the first half. I think he was pressing a little bit. And he finally calmed down a little bit the second half. Finished with 18, it didn't feel like it. But um, I thought he had some open looks. And, you know, that last one, he, he's made shots off balance, you know, his whole career. So, um, you know, kudos to him. He just he stayed the course. He moved on to the next play, even though he's struggling. What was it like being back here? And then does this win, a big win for your coaching career, mean anything more that it happened back here? Um, I'm not going to lie. It means a lot. You know, basically grew up here. Um, you know, special, special place. A lot of people that, um, you know, helped me grow as a, as a person. You know, you see them in the stands. They're texting me. And, um, you know, just to come back here with your own program is special. What does it mean? I mean, despite or on top of just you, what's the one mean over a Power Five team for your for Radford? Um, it means a lot. I mean, I, I think the fact that you know, being a first time head coach in your hometown, and then you know, my whole goal when I when I took the Radford job and was, you know, to take something that's good and and try to make it great. And you know, it's, it's special to get these because they're really hard. Um, you know, every game's really hard. You don't realize it. You know, I didn't realize until I moved into a head coach and the games are long and, um, you know, especially when you're playing a team in the Big 12 and, you know, we play teams in the ACC. We have Clemson after after Christmas and, you know, it's tough. Life on the road is tough. There's concerning <clears throat> the WV's roster situation, new guys coming in. Uh, some of them hadn't played yet. Right. Some of them had only played one game. Uh, how difficult, I mean, what kind of work did you have to put in just to get a scout? Uh, it, you know, their, their situation is unique because a lot of the stuff that you're scouting, you usually scout at the beginning of the year. You know, with the transfer yeah. portal, you're pulling clips from this guy's last school, this guy two schools ago, and, and you're trying to piece it together. You usually don't do that in, you know, the middle of December. Um, so you, we're watching clips and we're watching, you know, battle stuff from Montana State and – you know, just trying to piece everything together. But, you know, for that to be his first game, I thought he, you know, I thought it was really, really promising. And when he caught that, when he caught that cramp, we was telling our guys, we said, it's different. It's a, it's a difference being in game shape and practice, and practice shape. And so, you know, when he caught that cramp, I was like, it's hard to overcome cramps. And he came back second half and he's really good. And I was like, oh man, it's going to be a long one. <laughs> so he goes to the line for a one and one. And could have put him up three. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, you can't defend it. So, but what's your thought process at that point? This next play for you guys, be ready. Well, I didn't. What do you think? I didn't have any time out, so I <laughs> just whatever happens happens at that point. So, um, you know, they went on a run second half, and we had to use those timeouts. And you know, the crowd got into it. It got loud, and so I said, you know, we can't save these timeouts. We may not be in the situation. Let's use them. So, what did you call or have called for the last play? The Different action to other it, it was. It, and you know what? I told the guys in there, the beauty of it is <clears throat> we've been in this situation a lot, of, a lot of games, you know, having a chance to win it with the last possession. At JMU, you know, they're top 25 in the country. We have the same situation um, at Old Dominion. Maybe one other time. I don't know. But um, we called a play, and then they kind of jumped to the side and let Brian Antoine get downhill and draw a foul. So we didn't even necessarily get to the play. We wanted to run we wanted to run something with enough time for us to get it if we missed it, but not enough time for them to, you know, have a shot at it. So that was our thought process. When Smith um you know, he catches the ball and there's still a couple seconds. Then he loses it. He's gotta go pick it up. And you know, and like you said, you know, he just kinda throws something up there. Sounds like he's done that kind of stuff be before. I mean, uh, that's kind of a – I mean, he probably doesn't know how much time's left on the clock because no. he's trying to bend down he's and pick up the ball. Up yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and, you know, <laughs> we've been saying it since June, you know, get the ball with two hands, get the ball with two hands, and guys don't understand why we always saying that. And he ended up – he got the ball with two hands. And, you know, he rose up. And a lot of times in that situation, there's not time to put pressure on yourself. That's all you have to do. And so our next concern was, <clears throat> you know, we was in that situation of Marshall. Guys ran on the floor. We were just trying to keep guys off the floor. We wanted technical and, you know, something ended up, 
you know, going bad for us. You've played against West Virginia before on the opposing side at Florida, obviously <clears> it's before at Radford. This feel different because Hugs had always been there. Josh on the other end, someone you know that well. Does feel any different for you or just another game in the end? Yeah, it was definitely different. Um, you know, obviously they've been through a lot over the last year. Um, it was different, but it's also it, it's also. And I told somebody on the radio, it was, it was it's good to see your your college teammates. You know, Alex and um, Alex and Deshaun. You know, the situation I was in years ago where I'm just getting into coaching, I, I, I transitioned from a player to now coach. So it was really good to see them. You know, in that element where they, you know, pivoted to their new purpose, you know, life after playing. So, you know, that was a refreshing part, but it, it is different just because of, you know, all the stuff that's, you know, transpired in the last year. There's obviously kind of going off that. Josh <clears throat> obviously has gone through a lot of obstacles, right. uh, different different obstacles. Uh, you guys being good friends, what, what advice do you kind of give him when, when, when you guys talk? I, yeah. mean, uh, I mean, what, what can you say, I guess? And, yeah. Yeah. The only the the main thing I told him, and <clears throat> you know, you don't realize it. I think it's one of those things. Going from assistant to head coach, you you go through a lot of same things. So you end up your conversations end up more so with head coaches because you're going through the same thing. So the main thing I told him was the advice I got from Dustin Kearns that um, I worked with him at Wofford. Now he's at Appalachian State. He said, as a head coach, you're going to have big waves and you have small waves, but they they keep coming. He said sometimes the the big waves are going to knock you off. You got to get back on. Sometimes you survive the little waves, and then you're like, okay, what's next? And so, I mean, he was like, that's, that's a good way to put it, but, you know, that's what we signed up for. Mostly big waves. Here. Mostly big yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mostly big waves, yeah. 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 Did, did you offer that advice, or did he seek it out from you? Uh, we just on the phone, just hanging out. I was working out at night, and he was driving home, and I just called to check on him, and, okay. you know, he, we just started talking. He spoke about it. He said you were mentioned some boogie boards in there. And <laughs> oh yeah, that's for the that's for the big waves. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Big yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay, thank you, coach. Yeah, appreciate it.